Baby Bev? Hello, Panolo. And how are you doing today, Baby Bev? I'm fine. Baby Bev, let's say hello to our friends at home. Hello, friends. How are you doing today? You all right? <laughs> That's great. Oh, friends, let's say hello to old Baobab, our very good friend. Hello, old Baobab. <laughs> oh, friends, did you say hello to old Baobab? You didn't. Ah, oh, let's say hello together. Hello, old Baobab. <laughs> Sorry, old Beobab. Sometimes we forget that it's not just the two of us here. <laughs> it's also old Beobab and our friends at home. We love sitting with you guys. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Baby Bab, have you realized that you, me, and Beobab all have names that start with the letter B? Wow, I never realized. That's funny. You're right. It is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I wonder if there's foods that start with the letter B, just like our names. Do you uh, know of any baby pep? Yeah, apple. <laughs> no, baby pep. Apple starts with the letter A. We're looking for foods that start with the letter after A, which is? Uh, B. Yes. Do you guys know of any foods that start with the letter B? You do? <laughs> You're so clever. I know. I oh. know. Yes, baby Bab? Banana. Banana. -na. <laughs> yes, that's right. Banana starts with the letter B. You are very bright, baby Bab. Well, let's celebrate my brightness with a song. Okay. Come on, everyone. Let's sing a song. Yeah. It was baby Beb. I love singing songs. <laughs> did you like that song, friends? You did? That's great. Singing is the best, Nolo. Yes, it is, baby Beb. Now, earlier on we were talking about food names that start with the letter B, and baby Beb said banana. I am clever. Yes, you're very clever, baby Beb. <laughs> I wonder if some of our friends know of any other foods that start with the letters that come after B. A drumstick. E is for everything. It's always good to hear what our friends have to say. Our friends are the greatest. 
So far, we've named foods from A to E. Yes, we did! Good. Let's take a quick ad break and when we come back, we'll carry on down with the names of foods according to the alphabet. Twist my tail! Hello and welcome back inside the Peyopab tree. You're with me, Bunolo, and my best friend, Baby Pap. Hello, friends! Are you having a good day today, friends? You are? That's excellent! <laughs> Today we're learning about the names of foods according to the letters they start with. Oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Baby Bab. We are up to E. Now we need a food type that starts with F. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Do you friends at home know? You don't? No worries. Let's see if there's something in the toy box that might help us. Hmm. Hmm. Nolo, what is that? Let's open and see. Oh. Oh. This is a type of cheese. Mm hmm. But cheese starts with the letter C. That's true, Baby Bab. But this is a different type of cheese. It has a special name. Really? What? Our next letter is F, so the name starts with an F. Is it fees? <laughs> <laughs> no, baby bab. <laughs> it's called feta. Oh! Many people like to put it in salads. It is very yummy. Salads! Yummy! Let's see if we can find more foods with different names on our giraffe scope. Great idea! Nolo! Yay! Before we go to the giraffe scope, let's see what other food starts with the letter F. Here is our first food. Do you know what it is, friends? got its name a very long time ago. Its name comes from the way it is prepared. You prepare it by flapping it or tossing it in the air. Grown-ups know how to do this very well. Now, do you know what it's called? Aha! It's a flapjack. You're so right. And what about these? Do you know what these are? Well, here's a clue. They are made from an animal that swims in the sea. It also starts with the letter F. Yes, it's a fish. Now, do you know the name of these fishy things? Did you say fish fingers? <laughs> You're so right. Wow, look at this picture. So many fruits in the bowl. Which fruits can you see? I can see strawberries, Grapes, kiwis, and pineapples. They are all cut up and mixed together. When you mix food that is not cooked, you make a salad. And this is a mix of fruits. So, is it a salad or a fruit salad? Did I hear you right? Did you say fruit salad? Wow, you are so clever! 
Now we know more about foods that start with the letter F. We can move on to see what the giraffe scope has in store for us. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Now this is our friend, the giraffe scope. Giraffe scope, yay! That's right, baby Bab. When we look through the giraffe scope, we can see far, far away. We can look anywhere we want. The giraffe scope is very clever. Oh, look, there's lots to see. Wow, <laughs> look at those. What is it, Nolo? Hmm. It's a plate filled with green beans. Oh, are they called green beans because they are green in color? Yes, baby Pep. And green starts with a... G! Hmm. What is that? Hmm. It looks like tiny leaves. Tiny leaves? I know, it's herbs. Oh, herbs! What's herbs? Herbs are plants people use to give their food flavor. Oh, like spices? Yes, baby Bab. And you can eat some of them just the way they are. Wow, how interesting! It's so nice getting to know the names of different foods. <coughs> That's all, all done with giraffe scope. Let's put it away and look through it another day. Cool! <laughs> Let us count how far we are with the alphabet. Come friends, count with us. A, A B, B, C, D, D E, F, F G, G, H. H. Yay! Yes, that was fun, Baby Bab. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it too. We're going to take a quick break. See you soon. <laughs> See you all soon. Hello again. Welcome back to Inside the Baobab Tree. You're still with me, Bonolo, and Baby Bab. Hello again. Today we're learning the different names of foods. Baby Bab, would you like me to show you how to make a food marker? Yes, please. Okay, I'll show you. Let's make and do. Yeah! This is Tuli, our magic toolbox. And inside, it has everything we need to show you how to make food markers. Let's wake Tuli up. Hello, Tuli. I want to make food markers. Please may I have all the tools and materials I need? It sounds as if Tuli is ready. Let's see what's inside. So, I will need a pencil, lunch box with sand in it, Safe scissors. Wood glue. Paper glue. Ice cream sticks. Hmm. I can't feel anything else. Is that all I need? Okay, great. Let's get to making. Ready! Yes, we are ready. Yeah! Now I can show you how you can make your very own food marker. Twist my tail! Let's make it. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready to make a food marker, Baby Bab? Yes, yes, yes! Ready! Great! Let's do it! Yeah! First,
First, you need to take your colored paper. I chose green and orange. Mm. What you will need to do is draw any vegetable that you like on your paper. So I decided to draw a carrot and a pumpkin. Then you take the green paper and you draw the leaves. The carrot leaf, the milli leaf, and an apple leaf. Yum! Once you're done drawing on your pieces of paper, you will need to take your very safe scissors. Remember, friends, to always ask permission to use your scissors, and an adult will help you. Yeah. Now, I will cut my vegetables. I will cut the carrot. Remember oh. to always cut on the line so that you get a perfect shape. Oh. This carrot looks so yummy, Baby Bap. Yum, yum! I love carrots! <laughs> and they're orange. Oh. All the way around. Friends, you have to be careful whilst using scissors because they are very sharp. And there's my carrot. Nice! Then I will cut my carrot leaf. Once oh. again, you cut over the lines to get the perfect shape. Careful, Benola. I will, Baby Bab. I've already cut my leaf over here. Ah! There we go. Wow! Now I have a carrot and a leaf. When you're done cutting your veggies, what you will need to do is stick them together. You do this by using a paper glue. Open the glue and be very careful with using glue, friends, because you don't want your fingers to stick together. Yeah, sticky! Put some glue on your paper, like this. Then, stick your leaf onto your veggie, like that. Wow! Now you have a carrot. When you're done, always close your glue and put it away. Then you'll have to take your ice cream stick. What you'll need to do is glue the ice cream stick onto your vegetable. And you will need a wood glue. Oh, different! Yes, very different. But this one is very dangerous too. Ah. Always ask your parents for permission so that they can help you. Open the glue and put some glue onto your ice cream stick, ah. like that. And when you're done, close your glue and stick your vegetable on your ice cream stick, like that. Oh, I see! You can make many different vegetables, such as tomatoes, you can make millies, you can also make fruits like apples and strawberries. Yum, 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 yum! I already made my food markers over here. See, apple, carrot, tomato, strawberry. And then you're done making your fruits and vegetables. Ask your parents to give you a lunchbox, which you will fill up with sand, like this. Now you can start planting your fruit and vegetable garden. Yay! Strawberry. Yum! Tomato. Yum! Delicious! Apple. Oh, I love apples. And carrots. Yeah! There you go, Baby Bab. 
our delicious food markers. Wow! Twist my tire! It's now time for us to go. Come visit us again right here inside the Baobab tree. Oh no! Aww, yes, Baby Bab, but don't worry, we'll be back soon. You promise? I promise. Okay, see you and you and you soon. <laughs> Bye, friends. <laughs> Well, it's time for you to go now. We hope you've had fun with us here inside the Baobab tree today. <coughs> today, inside the Baobab tree, we learned about the different names of food. Giraffescope showed us some food that starts with G and H. We also made our very own food markers. <laughs> Join us soon inside the Baobab tree. It's been great to see you. Goodbye.